Tanzanian President Samia Suluhu Hassan has ordered the country's investigative authorities to give her a thorough report on the death of an opposition politician. She says Tanzania is a democratic country where every citizen has the right to life. Mohamed Ali Kibayo, a member of the main opposition Chadema party, Secretary, was abducted on Friday, September 6. His body was found in the Dar es Salaam neighborhood over the weekend. John Mrema is Chadema's Director of Protocol, Communications and Foreign Affairs. He tells me that Kibayo's body was not recognizable as he had apparently been doused with acid. We got reports on Friday that uh, he was abducted from the bus when he was moving from Dar es Salaam to his uh, region Tanga because it was a weekend. He was going to see his family, but uh, he was abducted in Dar es Salaam. Two vehicles surrounded the bus and then they went directly into the bus and they took him. They were having guns and uh, they took him and put him in their vehicle and the people didn't show any identity. Who do you think abducted him? According to the reports we've been receiving so far, we are suspecting the government operatives, specifically the National Intelligence Services. Where was his body found? What part of the country? The body was found in Dar es Salaam in a place called Ununio. It's just uh, close to Bagamoyo district and his body was uh, thrown on the road and the police were the ones who informed the family today morning that they have a body which resembles Mr. Ali Kibaos and so the family informed us and then we went to the hospital where he was we have done a post-mortem with the doctors his body was severely punished his face was uh, severely injured the report of the doctor say that the acid was used on his face that's why he even lose his shape in his face even the family they didn't recognize him he had some other means in his legs that's where they identified that he is the one and then the dna test was conducted and uh, that's how the family was able to exactly say that he is the one what are you hearing from the government or the police the police have issued a statement yesterday saying that they have started the investigation. But also the, the, the president of the country, she has just uh, tweeted this evening that uh, she has instructed the investigative organs within the country to conduct a thorough investigation and to give her the report on what exactly happened. Our call to the president is that it is the right time now to use the Inquest Act so that she can form the Judicial Commission of Inquiry to investigate this matter because this is not the first. We have more than 100 people have been abducted and disappeared in this country in this year alone. The Tanganyika Law Society have issued even the names of those people who disappeared in different parts of the country. John Mrebma is the Director of Communication, Foreign Affairs and Protocols for Tanzania's main opposition Chadema party. He was speaking with me from Dar es Salaam. Tanzan- Somalia says it will make good its threat of punishing corporate bodies rebelling or operating as though Somaliland is independent territory. Mogadishu had said all farms with operations in Somalia should, by September 1st, have altered information on their network platforms to reflect that Somaliland was a part of Somalia. Somalia's Ministry of Commerce and Industry referred to the country's provisional constitution to other companies to slash the name of Somaliland, the self-declared independent territory, from their network information sites. Money transfer agencies such as Paisi, Dahabsi, Dahabshil, and Juba Express were specifically named. In that communique, there was also meant to draw the attention of their remittance dealers and companies to stop using the name of Somaliland. Instead, apply Somalia giving deadline. Ethiopian Airlines, which flies to Hagisa and Mogadishu was also fingered after it had rebelled the Somaliland destination as a separate country. He said, 
use Somalia only in your systems as from 1st of September. Commerce and Industry Minister Jibril Abdurashid Haj Abdi had said on August 24th. The Somali Civil Aviation Authority had also directed airlines using Somali airports to stop refining cities such as Hagisa, the capital of Somaliland territory, as different from Somalia. The matter, though, is reflective of the events since January 2nd this year when Ethiopia and Somaliland linked an MOU that could grant Addis Ababa a coastal strip to build a naval base ostensibly in return for recognizing Somaliland, which has fought for recognition since 1991 without success. That MOU Ikt Mogadishu, which has gone on to protest at every global forum accusing Ethiopia of plotting to dismember Somalia. Somaliland, however, insists that Mogadishu has refused to recognize the real problem. Ismail Shirak, first secretary at the Somaliland Ransom Mission in Nairobi, said Somalia shouldn't be picking quarrel with Ethiopia but address the concerns of Somaliland. He said, the core of the matter lies in Somaliland exercising its sovereign right to enter into international agreements as we did with the UAE's DP World, while Somalia continues to assert that Somaliland is part of Somalia and therefore cannot engage in such agreements independently. Regionally, Somalia has often reacted fast when countries try to deal with Somaliland as independent. Somalia cut diplomatic ties with Kenya in December 2020, accusing Nairobi of interfering with Mogadishu's internal affairs after it hosted Somaliland leader in Nairobi. It resumed relations six months later. It had in 2019 also cut ties with Guinea after it gave Somaliland leader Musebihi a red carpet reception. While no sovereign state has formally recognized Somaliland, Chirac said Somaliland continue to engage with the international community and to form strategic partnerships. He said, it is in the interest of the entire region for Somalia to recognize the sovereignty and independence of Somaliland. Those partnerships may now face a test. Ethiopian Airlines and Fly Dubai were specifically warned their landing rights could be revoked if they don't change. Ethiopian Airlines came into controversy after it showed Hagisa without the name of the country while Fly Dubai described it as located in Somaliland. Earlier this year, some airlines complained of receiving contradictory navigation instructions from air traffic controllers in Somalia and Somaliland, risking safety of passengers. Internationally, only one Somali airspace is recognized, however. Both airlines stopped refueling Hagisa and other landing sites in the regions as Somaliland and applied Somalia as instructed.